So most cardiac catheterization in the United States is performed during using ephemeral access. In this method, a sheath or a large tube is placed in the femoral artery, and at the end of the catheterization procedure, this is removed. The second way to do it is to do it through the radial approach. The radial artery is very small, the risk of bleeding with that is negligible, and most patients that undergo radial procedures hardly have complications. However, over 70% of patients in the United States currently undergo catheterization using the femoral route. So when we have to remove the sheath, there are two ways to do that. One, we can use a closure device, where we either put in a plug or a suture or a metal clip or a variety of other methods, or we can just pull the sheath and hold pressure. There are small studies that have looked at one device versus manual closure or another device versus manual closure, but those studies were designed to look at patient comfort and not look at hard clinical endpoints. The question we had was, do these closure devices reduce complications beyond patient comfort? Because uh, while patient comfort is important, for us it's also important that do the patients have more bleeding, do they have more vascular complications, and that was the main focus of the study. Since this is an observational study, we wanted to match the patients who were treated with a closure device to those who were not treated with a closure device and make sure that there was no residual confounding, meaning there was no factor that would create an imbalance so that patients in one group were different from the patients in another group and that factor would explain our findings. We had started off with a fairly rigorous study design, but we had decided a priori how the study was gonna be done. We did not try to go back and do different analysis to fit our preconceived hypothesis. And so the findings are what they are. This work is actually a result of collaboration at multiple levels. There's a collaboration in the state of Michigan where every hospital that does angioplasty participates in a collaborative network where we share data, where we look at outcomes, and then we learn from each other. So the findings that we have from this paper any clinician with good expertise would agree that they make sense, and yet with enough nuance that we can say with statistical confidence that they do provide subgroups where we can say these devices help and where they're not so helpful. I think the most important thing that I took away from this paper is that closure devices reduce complications, but they do not reduce complications in all patients. I think our findings will be looked upon by physicians who use these devices, they would be able to decide which are the patient subgroups that would where these devices would be preferably used and which patient subgroups we should forego them and which patient subgroups you could use either either of the approaches, either manual closure or closure device.